From the campus studios of Sarland University, this is Robcast, the lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Hi folks, this is Robcast, I'm Peter Tischer. And I'm Roger Charlton. Roger, last time we talked, you tried to get out of a question, and <laughs> I'm going to ask it again. Oh, yes. It's about... Uh, this referendum that's going to be held in Scotland yes. about whether Scotland will remain part of the UK. Right. And I asked you last time, what is your personal take on it? Yes. Uh, would you say I would like the Scots to stay in there, if only to strengthen the British national football team? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Or for whatever reason, what do you think? Would you like to, them to stay Let me just take you up on that one. There is no British national football team. There's an England team, a Scotland team. All right, right. So, so that on. doesn't play a role. <laughs> okay. Let, let, so, me just, let me just say, um, I normally try to give straight answers to questions. Yes. But also, for all my career here, mm -hmm. I've been a sort of representative of the UK. I've tried to help students to understand what the UK is, how people live there, and so on and so forth. And I've tried not to express personal opinions. Mm -hmm. But I will do so. Okay. Since you're a good friend of mine. Okay. And nobody's listening. I, for mostly... <laughs> mostly <laughs> Just a joke, folks. <laughs> mostly pragmatic reasons. Mm -hmm. I'm for Scotland staying in the UK. What do you call pragmatic reasons? I think there would be enormous problems, both for Scotland mm -hmm. and for the remainder of the UK, if we started to break the country up like that. Would you fear that um, after Scotland, other parts of the UK would say, hey, this is a good idea? I don't think... Well, I mean, you I just mentioned you yeah. have three national... Well, not really four. national. Four. You have four teams. Yeah. So that shows that there is a sort of a separation. I believe it's the only country that has four teams yeah. competing against each other. I do see Scotland as being different here because it has its own parliament mm -hmm. and it is to gain more powers anyway uh -huh. in the near future. The Welsh, I can't see the Welsh wanting to break away. No. This is a tiny country with a very small population. Uh -huh. um, economically, it couldn't survive. Mm -hmm. And it makes much more sense for Wales to stay in the UK. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to get into the Irish question because that's very complex. It depends who you ask. Yes, There are definitely. a lot of people in Northern Ireland who want Northern Ireland to become part of the Republic, but not mm -hmm. the majority. So let's leave that on one side. Um, so let's go back to Scotland then. Yeah. Um, now, apart from your personal opinion, uh, you said for practical or pragmatic reasons mm -hmm. would be better. If you took on... Their point of view, yeah. do you think they would be doing themselves a favor? It's very hard to know. That, for example, could they keep the pound mm -hmm. and have their own freedom in the terms of economic and fiscal policy? Mm -hmm. We've already seen with the euro, this doesn't work well. Mm -hmm. The euro area countries all mm -hmm. have the same currency, mm -hmm. but different fiscal policies. And it yeah, has right. led to immense difficulties, which mm -hmm. still exist. And right. I, I think it's likely to be the same with Scotland. Okay. And that affects the rest of the UK, not just Scotland. I'm pretty sure that the people of Scotland m must see that. So why do they want out in the first place? Is this more a cultural thing? Scotland has... Well, it was an independent country for a very long time, for yeah. centuries. It has... It has so much of its own culture, language, mm -hmm. traditions, all kinds of things which are Scottish and only Scottish. Mm -hmm. So you can see that this is important to lots of people living there. Mm -hmm. But I think what is also important is since 1970, when we discovered this, there is a very good source of wealth under the sea around Scotland uh -huh. in the form of oil and gas. And there are many people in Scotland who feel... Oil and gas have been exploited by outsiders, and the, be the benefit has not really been for Scottish people. Or by the south southern half of the country. 
And it's. I mean, uh, that might be a case too. Are they saying this? This is all flowing into London, and I and think too, it's the distance from London. The further uh-huh. away you are from London, the more you yeah. feel neglected. Uh-huh. The north uh-huh. of England often feels this as well. It's not yeah. just the stuff. because you know you see that in Italy. You have the north of Italy yeah. who think they're wealthy and well off, and they sometimes want to break off. They, you know, yeah. you have these independence parties there, and they're saying basically. Um, it's all flowing down south to Rome or even further down south where the money is trickling away yeah. into channels that we don't know about and yeah. that we don't benefit from. Is that a Scottish feeling as well? Oh, I think so, yes. It's 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 a mixture of the cultural, the economic, mm-hmm. the feeling of being a little bit downtrodden. Mm-hmm. And historically, of course, they blame the English for all kinds of things. Like, and, and how do the English feel about it? Do they say, hey, foul play? I think it depends who you talk to, as so often. But I said, a lot of people in England say, well, good riddance. If the Scots want to go, let them go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What does the government say? Well, Are they rooting for the union? Or? Very much um, for the uh, continuation of the union. Okay, okay. And there are plenty of people in Scotland who feel like this too. And the opposition in I don't England? think there's. I don't think there's a mainstream. Or don't they care? There isn't a mainstream party at Westminster that is in the, in the main Parliament of the UK. Mm-hmm. There isn't a party there that would welcome the breakup of the UK. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh uh, wow! Uh, really interesting topic. When's the referendum again? Eighteenth of September. So let's just promise to our listeners. As soon as the results are in, we'll do a podcast and analyze the results. Yes. Okay? Things like, will the Scots need their own passport? Will there be border checks on uh-huh. the border between England and Scotland? Oh, this is going to be a fun <laughs> podcast. I can, I can see it now. So, folks, please keep us on your iPods. Or, if you like, also don't, remember, uh, don't forget our website on www.ropecast.de where there's usually a lot more information, including for this podcast, a link to the referendum website so you can check what this is all about. Bye-bye. Okay. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.